YouTube, how's everybody doing? It is May the 29th, 2014, and this is my week 48 post op lap band update video. So, the last time I came to you, I had been in to see my surgeon, and he removed fluid from my band. And I was not happy about that at all. But I went back to see him last week, and I got. 1.25 cc's put back in my band, putting me back at 5.25 cc's, I think. It might be 5.5, I'm not sure. There's not a whole lot going on right now. I'm adjusting to having my fluid back. I don't know how much I weigh. I won't know until I go and see him. I go and see him Wednesday. Hopefully, I will be getting the rest of my fluid back. I don't want him to put me back to the 6.25 because it was too much and I was having issues and um, so I'm, I'm hoping maybe I can get up to like 6.5 because that was a really good area for me. I know that I have not lost or gained as of Friday because I went to my regular doctor and did like my regular checkup things. And I still weigh the same as I did the last time I saw my lap band doctor. So, uh, I don't know if that's good or bad. You know, I'm, I'm adjusting to the new feel that I can still eat way more than I should be able to eat. And I'm still getting hungry way more than I should be. So, I'm not really sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But I'm very unhappy with where I'm at weight-wise. I, I can't say that I'm unhappy about like my clothing sizes. My clothing sizes continue to change. They are still going down. And I know that that's a lot because when you work out and stuff, you build muscle. So your weight may not always change, but your sizes will. So I'm okay with that, you know. I'm okay with that. But I do have some NSVs this week that I'm really happy to report. I know that I've told you guys before that I'm diabetic free. I've been off my medicine for six months now, but my physician, my regular physician, he does um, a sequence of tests for six months and you have to test under the diabetic level or the normal level for six months consecutive in order to be considered diabetic free and I have done that. This last visit, my blood work was fantastic. Everything was fantastic. Uh, all of my vitamin count, you know, whatever, their vitamin D and B12 and all that. Everything was really good. My good cholesterol was good. My bad cholesterol was good. Uh, so, I was really happy with that. And, like I've said probably a thousand times before, I got this band because I needed to be healthy. And... You know, if I never lost another pound, I've already accomplished the reason that I got the band. But I'm not ready to stop by any means whatsoever. I'm not ready to stop. I'm going to keep going because I have a weight loss go. Uh, me and my surgeon talked the other day and I really wanted to be down to 175 before my surgery. But I don't think that's realistic because it's the 29th and my surgery is the 12th. And that's like a pound a day. And I just don't know even if I did a full liquid diet until my surgery anniversary. I don't think I could do that. So I'm going to get as close as I can and do what I can. I'm still working out. I'm running in the park. We're well, not really running. I'm still trying to rebuild myself back up to the running. Because I got so out of shape after my hysterectomy. Because I couldn't do anything. And now it's just like trying to do like a mile I was like oh my god but I'm building back up slowly I'm getting there um so I'm I'm, I'm okay with the way things are right now I'm not done and I'm not happy but I'm okay I feel like I've accomplished a lot and I don't know how I'll feel when my surgery anniversary gets here but I know that there are a lot of things changing I'm okay I know that I'm going to get there. I'm just not going to get there as fast as other people have. And that's okay with me. Sorry, this gown, I got this like months ago. 
and it's way too big now, which I'm not going to complain about that, but it makes me look like, anyways, um, but yeah, I, I really can't complain about anything right now other than I just want the rest of my fluid because I'm hungry, like a lot hungry. A couple things I wanted to talk about this week. I wanted to definitely say a huge congratulations to Keith and Danielle. Um, you guys know her as Texas Danielle. Big, huge congratulations to you and Keith Danielle on the upcoming birth of your baby. That is just fantastic. I'm so excited for you guys. Congratulations to Amin, the machine, <laughs> because Amin is expecting a baby in December. Well, his his uh, wife is expecting a baby in December. So that's just, just awesome. Congratulations to my BFF, Ginger, who got married over the weekend. I am just ecstatic. I'm so happy for you. So Bruce, congratulations. You married my best friend. You better be good to her. <laughs> yeah, so that's about it, you guys. I really don't have a whole lot else to talk about. So, that's it. I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, yeah. Everybody's have a good week. And I will see you guys Wednesday after I see my lab man doctor.